What do you do when you have a headache? Or when you catch a cold? Well, many of us turn to our medicine cabinets for solutions to our most basic ailments. But do you ever wonder how medicine is made or what the process is to reach an effective vaccine? These days, there are hundreds of thousands of different medicines or pharmaceutical drugs specially designed for any need. Pharmaceutical companies create drugs which are used to take care of various diseases, both in humans and animals. Hello and welcome back to another edition of Bazaar. With me, Omid Roshandal, standing in for Samson Cease. On this week's show, we are going to check out Iran's pharmaceutical industry and its related facets. We also take a deeper look at some of the products and services that have been garnering a lot of attention recently. So sit where you are. We have plenty more coming up. Our journey through the pharmaceutical market began at Livogen Pharmaceutical Company. This company is a knowledge-intensive company that works in the field of biotechnology. It partners with the Tehran University of Medical Sciences. It also works in juncture with the fully equipped laboratories of University of Medical Sciences and Research of Iran. We are in the Livogen Pharma in several areas of production. One of the most important things ارائه خدمات کنترل کیفیت داروهای مبتنی بر زیست فناوری یا بیوتکنولوژی هست که به عنوان اولین و تنها شرکتی هستیم در ایران که مجوز جی ال پی سازمان غذا و دارو رو داریم و اینم باعث این میشه که شرکت ها بتونن از خدماتی که از ما میگیرن برای اخذ مجوز از شرکت های خارج و برای بحث صادراتشون استفاده بکنن But what does this company really do? 16 years ago, it first began its work in the field of diagnosing certain cancerous cells in the blood. Later, it expanded its activities in the fields of biomedicinal quality control kits, and then further expanded into the production of viral and bacterial testing kits. One of its major products now is the COVID-19 testing kit. کیت هایی که برای کنترل کیفی داروها در شرکت لیوژن فارم تولید میشه کیت های حاصل دی ان ای هستش که برای انواع میزبان ها این کیت ها رو ما تولید می کنیم طیف وسیعی از میزبان ها رو ما کیتش رو خودمون تولید کردیم برای مثال CHO, BHK, SP20, یست انواع سلاین های میکروبی و حشرات This pharma giant has been able to locally create quality control kits which were previously imported Before these kits were locally produced each company had to outsource or send its samples to a European company for quality control. Sending these samples would cost upwards of 100,000 euros. با توجه به اینکه در حال حاضر قیمت های کیت های معادل اینها که در خارج از کشور تولید میشه قیمت های بالایی دارن ما با قیمت های خیلی به صرفه تر میتونیم خیلی راحت تر اینها رو در اختیار مشتریامون که تولید کننده های دارو هستن قرار بدیم uh, when we are in middle of a crisis like this uh, usually it would be very hard to predict what's coming next and uh, so we use data learning uh, um, tools and data sciences to predict what is coming next and be prepared for it. Uh, here in Livogen Farmed, we combine uh, bioinformatics and uh, data sciences uh, to analyze the data flow of COVID-19 patients uh, among the world and uh, also in Iran. Uh, we use uh, modern uh, most modern techniques of AI and machine learning and neural networks uh, to analyze uh, this data flow and our databases, uh, which is a collection from uh, Iran's Ministry of Health and uh, Medical Education reports, uh, WHO situation updates on uh, previous and current coronavirus outbreaks, and uh, genomic data of the virus itself. With this information, uh, deciding organization and government uh, can select their strategic response plans uh, more wisely and more uh, efficiently and uh, be prepared for next waves of the disease. This company employs a large team of passionate and highly skilled scientists and medical professionals. It also offers research opportunities for students and those working in this field. لیوژن فارم در حال حاضر متشکل از نزدیک به چهل نفر از افراد متخصص هستش 
با میانگین سنی 31 سال که عملا ما یه ترکیب جمعیتی خیلی جوان و متخصصی رو داریم Creating biopharmaceutical medicines is very different from the production of other medicines. With regular medicine, the process involves a chemical approach, whereas biopharmaceuticals involve living cells, proteins, and genetics. So biopharma quality control kits differ from other control mechanisms. Producing a biomedicine is a sensitive process, and products must be totally free of outside contaminants to ensure that the medicine works properly. When dealing with tiny organisms on a microscopic level, you would need highly modern equipment to get the job done. So the two major services this company provides are the technology necessary for testing the quality and efficacy of biopharma medicines. How are these things measured? In particular, through cell bank characterization and viral clearance studies, which are the cornerstones of safe biomedicines. ما انواع ویروس ها پنل ویروس ها رو ما بانک ویروسی اینجا داریم ویروس های قشادار، انولپدار یا نان انولپ غیر قشادار اینها رو در واقع بر اساس گایدلاین ها ما انتخاب می کنیم و این رو در واقع تست مون ها روش در واقع انجام میدیم و نتایج رو به صورت نتیجه رسمی و ریپورت به سازمان غذا و دارو در واقع ما ارجاع میدیم All steps of research and production happen in its BLS germ free laboratories These laboratories are equipped with the latest technology needed to get the job done. Cell bank characterization is a critical component of safety and control of biological and biotechnological productions. Viral clearance studies are mandatory for pharmaceutical production processes where material of human or animal origin is included. Without going into the nitty-gritty details, these two processes are also what make productions of coronavirus testing kits possible. Uh, we also provide uh, severity analysis, uh, which is a way to classify uh, whether a person's uh, health uh, is going to be uh, in acute phase of the disease, acute phase of the COVID-19 or not. Uh, and we also uh, provide information and estimations on uh, society and or a, a number of um, symptomless carriers of the virus. Uh, with this information, um, we try to raise uh, people uh, awareness and public um, knowledge about the virus, the disease, and uh, the mechanisms and patterns of how it spreads. Livogen Pharmed was one of the first companies in Iran to take on the task of producing various COVID-19 testing kits. Its products and services are able to compete internationally with the added advantage of having lower prices. Mm, استاندارد در واقع ایران رو گرفتیم و جی ال پی رو در واقع گرفتیم بحث آنتی وایرال ها و وایروسیدال ها هستن که این روزها به لحاظ در واقع شوع پاندمی ویروس در واقع کرونا خیلی احساس نیاز شده و خیلی از محققا و یا کمپانی ها دست گذاشتن در واقع در تولید در واقع این نوع محصولات و خاصیت ضد ویروسی و یا در واقع ضد ویروسی در واقع این محصولات به شرکت های شرکت ما به عنوان یک شرکت رفرنس داره ارجاع میشه و ما تست های استانداردی که در واقع مطابق و منطبق در واقع با اون محصول هست شما در حال اجرا هستیم This company exports its products to neighboring countries as well از لحاظ کیفیت در واقع بر مبنای مراجع نظارتی خارجی داشتن و مجوز جی ال پی ما کمک میکنه که در در واقع هیته جهانی قدم برداریم شرکت ها خدمات ما رو بتونن به مراجع نظارتی خارجی ارائه بکنن در معنی نشون میده که کیفیتمون اون استاندارد های لازم رو داره و همینطور صادرات کیت رو داشتیم به شرکت ها و کشورهای خارجی The US imposed sanctions have both offered opportunities and roadblocks for this company. شاید به لحاظ روی کاغذ ما تحریم نباشیم اما اساسا اینه که وقتی یک پروسه خیلی پیچیده تر طولانی تر با هزینه های گذاف بیشتری صورت بگیره پس یک نوعی از تحریم هست In this edition of the subcontinent, we will discuss Daesh and Takfirism in Afghanistan. 
and we shall also look at how the United States is involved in the rise of the Takfiri terrorist group in the country. Iran ranks 12th in the world and first in West Asia in terms of biotechnology. Nearly 10% of the income of knowledge-intensive companies in Iran is related to biotechnology. Also, it might be interesting to know that the country saved nearly $1 billion by producing 22 types of biopharmaceuticals locally this year. Because of the advancement in science for high-tech biopharmaceutical medicines, Iran's biopharma capacities have drastically grown in the last decade. Iranian biopharmaceuticals have been exported to major customers like Russia, Iraq, Malaysia and Turkey, among others. Also, the Biotechnology Development Headquarter at the Iranian Vice Presidency for Science and Technology has plans underway to transfer Iranian biopharmaceutical technology to Argentina. The biopharma products made by the domestic knowledge-based companies and startups in Iran are worth billions. About 67% of raw materials for the pharmaceutical industry in Iran is provided by local companies. The rest is imported. The government imposes high tariffs on imported medicines in order to encourage support for local pharmaceutical productions. The Ministry of Health and Medical Education says that these policies will benefit patients. So by improving the availability of locally manufactured biomedicines, patients can receive treatments for chronic and life-threatening diseases. About 97% of drugs required in Iran are domestically produced, but there is a small amount of drugs for specific ailments such as cancers and MS that Iran imports. The country produces 3,000 drugs and 4,000 pharmaceutical variations. Currently, Iran has 15 pharmaceutical faculties, which train scores of pharmacists and researchers each year. Also, there are over 120 pharmaceutical companies that produce medicine and 70 factories that produce raw pharmaceutical materials. The biggest barrier to the Iranian pharmaceutical industry is the cruel U.S. sanctions. In early 2018, the Trump administration pulled out of the international nuclear agreement with Iran. Afterwards, the U.S. reimposed all economic sanctions. This included secondary sanctions on non-U.S. entities that conducted financial or commercial transactions with Iran. This, on the one hand, was a blessing and, on the other, a hindrance for the nation's pharmaceutical industry. First, let's look at how sanctions were a blessing in Iran. Despite pressure from sanctions, Iran's domestic pharma market was worth $3.3 billion last year. Its exports last year were worth $50 million. Iran registers an average of 12% increase in pharmaceutical manufacturing every year. Last year, production rose by 40%. Iran's pharmaceutical industries are thriving. And it is not surprising how far it has expanded while offering numerous investment opportunities. But U.S. officials have emphasized time and again that Iran's pharmaceutical sector is exempt from sanctions. The imposed sanctions on banking and money transfer sectors have made it difficult for the pharmaceutical industry. Adding to Iran's pharmaceutical woes, the Trump administration made it even more difficult for European countries to export medicine to Iran. Swiss pharmaceutical exports to Iran decreased by 30% to $167 million in 2019. Similarly, French pharmaceutical exports to Iran decreased by 25% last year. The consequence of the redoubled U.S. sanctions has posed serious threats to Iranians' right to health and access to essential specialized medicines. This has caused a lack of critical treatments for epilepsy and patients with the rare genetic diseases such as butterfly syndrome, among others. The result has caused many to suffer in the long term, and many have lost their lives, which could have been prevented. Well, I shall be taking a break for several minutes now, so I'm going to pass the show over to my good colleague out there on the field, who will be taking you on another business adventure. surround us everywhere, from homes to offices to schools. In Iran, construction is amongst the top three exponentially growing industries, so it seems only fitting that we explore more into this field and see what it has to offer. In this segment, we'll be talking with a company that talks exactly about this kind of stuff. Construction is an important sector that contributes greatly in the economic growth of a nation. 
The construction industry is an investment-led sector where government shows high interest. It is highly diversified and involves numerous clients like property builders, property developers, material supplies, and contractors. This is the heart of the company. It is comprised of architectural, structural, mechanical, electrical, and computer programming engineers. The design happens here from start to finish, ending off with a 3D representation of the interior and exterior of the building so that clients may capture the true feel of their project. A construction project is a tall order and requires many different people with different skill sets to execute it. The aptitude of any given construction company can be deduced by special characteristics and attributes accompanied with professionalism, such as ethics and qualification, skill, experience, communication skills, and initiative. Each one of these supporting factors play a key role in the professionalism of a company in the construction industry. Please tell us a little bit about your company. شرکت در سال 1980 تأسیس شد. در ابتدای تأسیس سعی کردیم که با گردآوری بهترین و نخبه ترین جوان ها و دانش آموخته های با تجربه شرکتی رو تأسیس بکنیم که از همه پتانسیل های برتر شرکت عمرانی برخوردار باشه. As you can see, I'm standing at a construction site where only the best materials are used to build the highest quality structures. A team of highly experienced engineers and workers come together with quality control to ensure that all regulations are met from zero to 100. Please tell us about how your company functions from start to finish. ما ابتدا به ساکن سعی کردیم شرکت رو در سه رده مدیریتی تعریف بکنیم مدیریت اول ما مدیریت واحد طراحی است از فاز صفر پروژه ها تا فاز دو طراحی میکنه ما از روانشناس هم در بخش طراحیمون بهره میبریم علاوه بر همکارای اجرای ما همکارای دیگه ای تو این بخش باز هم ازشون مشاوره گرفته میشه اون هم گروه کنترل کیفیت ما واحد بعدی ما واحد اجراست عمدتا از نیروهای کار آزموده تر و با تجربه تر تلفیقی از جوان هاست یعنی دانش آموخته های روز رو و علم روز سعی کردیم که به این گروه اضافه بکنیم واحد بعدی ما واحد مشاوره هست واحد مشاوره متشکل از اساتید برجسته دانشگاه ها و هیئت علمی ها هستند علاوه بر مشاوره تیم های اجرایی و طراحی ما به مشتریانمون هم این مشاوره رو ارائه میدن. Behtaj Navid prides itself in building structures that are not only structurally sound, but can withstand a great deal of force in the case of a natural disaster. As Iran is subject to most types of tectonic activity and is well known for its long history of disastrous earthquakes, it is quite assuring to work with a company that can ensure your safety in times of extreme hardship. Quality control and assurance enhances client satisfaction during a construction project and reduces costs by lowering levels of waste and rework and improving productivity and production efficiency. Your home is your safe haven. It is a place where you go to relax, unwind, and be stress-free. So it seems naturally fitting that your environment fits the memo. Here, all buildings are made in consultation with highly distinguished psychologists that work side by side the engineers to make a space that is both peaceful and perfect for you. Tell us about the key features that sets you apart from different companies. One of the most important features of the company of Behtaj David گارانتی 20 ساله محصولات تولیدی خودش است. ویژگی بعدی ما سعی کردیم ساختمون هامون رو در مقابل زلزله با دوره بازگشت 400 ساله ایمن کنیم. یکی از ویژگی های بارز دیگه شرکت ارائه محصول ارزان به مشتری ها است. با کیفیت بالا محصولات تولیدی ما 20 درصد از قیمت روز تولیدات دیگه ارزان تر خواهد بود. In the 
building industry, attention to detail sets a construction company above the rest. Are small details trivial or minor in life? In this industry, it sets a home above the average construction project. It's the attention to details that makes a construction company unique and superior to the average. So what does it take to really bring a custom detail touch to a project? Keeping a close eye on a project throughout the whole process is the only way to take care of all of the details. This process starts with the building plans and continues with the precision of executing every detail in every phase of construction. What are your future endeavors for your company? هر مجموعه موفقی برای خودش یک اهدافی رو ترسیب میکنه اهداف آینده شرکت ما پا گذاشتن در عرصه بین الملل و بلفل در آوردن پتانسیل های جوون های کشور ما در بخش دیگه ای از اهداف ما یک دو پروژه رو در دست طراحی و مطالعات داریم که انشالله به موقعش عرضه میشه و این پروژه ها نادر هست در جهان و بتونیم در این زمینه هم نام ایران رو سر بلند کنیم. So, as you can see, a building is sort of like a puzzle. Many different pieces come together to form the final picture. From a team of highly experienced individuals, we have planning, design, and of course construction, which we can only hope to expand and innovate by increasing our knowledge. Such an interesting topic. Thank you for another great report, as always. Now, let's turn our attention to some news and trends that have been happening in the pharmaceutical market recently. 40 knowledge-intensive companies participated in a first-of-its-kind virtual exhibition of surge in production and COVID-19 achievements that was conducted last month. The exhibition displays the latest achievements of the attending knowledge-based companies in the field of COVID-19. Surgical instruments, medical equipment, vitamins, and advances in the treatment of coronavirus were all part of the attraction. Iranian-made innovative products were also on display, such as the ozone generator, nanotechnology face protection, and molecular COVID-19 diagnostic kits. The exhibition was available for 10 days. Knowledge-intensive companies also had the opportunity to display software and applications in the field of IT and medicine. The virtual exhibition was designed in three languages. The goal was for international organizations to become familiar with the achievements of Iranian knowledge-intensive companies. Never more than now have pharmaceuticals been in the spotlight, mainly due to worldwide COVID-19 pandemic. Early last month, an Iranian official announced that there is good news coming about a vaccine being developed for COVID-19. The Iranian Minister of Health, Saeed Namaki, says the world will hear of this breakthrough in the coming months. He added that the health ministry will be informing the World Health Organization about the country's advances in developing the coronavirus vaccine. Officials say a number of vaccines for the novel coronavirus are being developed in the country and have successfully passed initial testing phases. Now the vaccines are ready for clinical trials. About 450 knowledge-intensive companies are active in the country for manufacturing protective equipment and treatment products to fight the COVID-19 pandemic. Iranian-made innovative products in the field of diagnosis, screening, and fighting coronavirus have also been unveiled. Iranian knowledge-based companies have stepped up production during the time of the pandemic. These companies have been successful in making a number of vital items that are used for COVID-19-related treatments. Knowledge-based companies have produced large quantities of intensive care units, critical care equipment, and CT scan machines, among other things. In early April, Iranian researchers at Sharif University of Technology produced a new homemade biosensor based on nanotechnology. This sensitive sensor is used to diagnose cancerous cells in the blood. Vice President for Science and Technology Surana Sattari said Iranian knowledge-based companies have developed such a capability that they now can export extra equipment needed for treating coronavirus patients to other countries. Sattari added that knowledge-based companies will be able to export their goods when the Iranian Health Ministry issues exporting permits. And that's all the time we have for this episode. Let us know what you think of the pharmaceutical industry. And remember, we always want to hear about the topics that matter to you. So send us a message or leave us a comment on Facebook or Instagram. And one day, 
we may just cover a topic that you send in. Thanks for watching this week's Bazaar and see you next time.